Allison left me the dishes to do all by myself. She went to work and now I have to do the dishes. So I figured that I was going to make a video because Allison, you better watch out. I am coming for you. So you always have to find something fun to do while you're doing the dishes because it's really boring. <laughs> Don't wanna be all by myself anymore. Will you still walk me when I'm no longer young and beautiful? You can tell that you're truly a college student when there are so many dishes that you would uh, probably eat off the floor before considering actually washing the dishes. Because that's how lazy you are. You specifically. I'm sure you are in college right now. And you agree with me. I'm accusing you of that. I said you're crazy. Yeah, yeah. Pizza is the pizza for you and me. I hate that. I hate that. But I know I'm glad to be back. There I know. On the loose. I know, it's a while away the time while I'm washing dishes. I'm going to sing some TV show theme songs. Do, 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 Shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, when was the your heart decide a whole new world? Don't you dare close your eyes. But seriously, like if she's really afraid, she should be allowed to close her eyes. Uh, she might get sick or something. Same. Like not all people are accustomed to being up very high on, on a flying carpet. So Aladdin's not very sensitive. Stoning, it's better. Down where it's wetter. Take it from me. And now a selection from one of my personal favorites, Ronnie James Dio, called Holy Diver. Holy Diver, you've been none too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Right the tiger, you can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. Oh, won't you see what I mean? We gotta get away, get away. Holy diver, ah, 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 ah. Bon Jovi was basically Allison in my childhood. And we would sing all the time. And we even had, gosh, we had New Jersey, I think, on cassette tape. Oh, look, it's Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock, how do you feel about these dishes? I feel like it's highly illogical that you haven't finished these dishes yet. Instead, you're just making this video. Um, excuse me, Mr. Spock. I'm actually doing the dishes. It's Mr. Spock? Whew, he's all right. Huh. He needs to uh, see bones over here. Medic, medic. I'm upside down. Yeah. Damn it, Spock. I'm a doctor, not a miracle worker. Rah! Yeah. Bones, you have some anger issues. So here's a pretty important question that so no one has probably ever asked you, but that you really should be reconsidering at this point in your life. If you were in Lord of the Rings, which orc would you be? Now, there's some pretty good choices. There's that one guy who looks like a bird that wants to eat Merry and Pippin, and he's like, yeah. Yeah, that guy. 
There is Urukai, the guy with the white handprint on his face. Now that guy is pretty cool, um, got a killer smile, and he does some pretty cool stuff. He does like to yell, he likes to snort, he likes to grunt, and he also likes to kill Boromir, which is a bummer, but honestly no one's really surprised because it was Sean Bean. What if it was really ironic and Sean Bean dies in every movie, but he's immortal in real life? That's, that's what it is. I am convinced. I think there are also some other good conversations you could talk about, like what your opinion is on goats. And, I mean, you can have a lot of different opinions on goats. My opinion is that goats are very adorable. So I think there are two classes of people in the world. People who think goats are cute and people who think goats are ugly. I guess there's the third, smaller section of people that thinks that goats are both creepy and pretty cute at the same time because they're so creepy. So while Allison's not here, I'm thinking I should be telling some sort of an embarrassing story. But the thing is, there are so many to choose from. I think my favorite ones include uh, times in which she got waitresses fired. Uh, these waitresses are not nice people. We never get nice waitresses fired. I mean, that's just mean. Because, you know, you go to a place expecting good service, and, you know, instead they like, give you death threats written on your napkin, so... Uh, Allison didn't take well for that. And then she was gonna unscrew the lamp, like the lamp above the table, uh, so it hit her on the head. And I was like, Allison, this is not a good idea. She didn't do that, and actually I was the one egging her on, so I can't really say that if I told her not to. I feel like these jobs should be open to people who are actually going to do their job well, and uh, who, you know, don't hate people. What are you lazy bums doing? You're sitting here watching me do my chores? You should go do your chores. I know you have some, all of you. If you need some suggestions, here are some. You could do laundry, you could do the dishes, you could vacuum, you could take a shower, you filthy animal. I don't know if anyone has pet goats that they allow to live in the house. I'm kind of thinking not because they're kind of stanky, but like, do people actually do that? Are there, is there like a, a goat playpen in which they are keeping these goats, corralling them in their living rooms? I think they would need wooden floors um, or a really decently trained goat. You know, I wonder if they have goats that are like service goats where they help the blind. Um, I wonder if it would be easier to control than a dog, because dogs get all excited whenever they see somebody. <laughs> yeah. Goats don't do that. Um, they usually show their excitement by jumping on puppies, apparently, as I've seen via the internet. Um, I don't think goats are really that excited about people, so maybe, maybe it's kind of just like the waitress thing. Huh. Man, if goats don't like people that much, and they really shouldn't be working in service positions now, would they? I think we've learned a very important lesson here today. Service goats are really not a good idea. Bad waitresses are like goats that like to jump on puppies. Full circle here. Well, I need to actually get these dishes done. So, thank you for watching, and maybe next time, it'll be Allison doing the dishes. Peace.